everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we are going to look at a quick and easy way to adjust clothing inside of Photoshop. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. And please join us in our private Facebook group. I offer weekly Q&A videos live. They're a lot of fun. The link is below. This is my friend Mickey. I photographed her maternity session a few weeks ago. And let me show you the before. This is straight out of the camera and then after inside of Lightroom. But that's not what we're going to look at today. What I'd like to do is make her dress a little bit longer inside of Photoshop. So let me take this image into Photoshop and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. That's Command J on the Mac, Control J on the PC. And I'm going to press V in order to select my move tool. And what I'm going to do is move layer one to the right a little bit. And you'll see why in a moment. But in order to move this image, you could use your arrow key to the right and it would move it one pixel at a time. But if you hold down shift, it will actually move it 10 pixels at a time. So holding shift and pressing your right arrow will move this 10 pixels. And I'm going to add a layer mask by clicking the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers palette. I want to fill this with black in order to hide all of the contents of layer one, because remember when you're working with layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. I noticed that I have black as my background color, so I can use the keyboard shortcut command delete that's control backspace on the PC in order to fill that mask with black in order to conceal the contents of layer one. Next, I'm going to grab my brush tool by pressing B on my keyboard. I'm going to zoom in with the command or control plus space bar in order to access the pan tool. I notice that I have a white brush as my foreground color, so that's going to work perfectly. And what I'm going to start doing is just brushing over this area to reveal the contents of layer one, which is the layer that I had moved over to the right to make the dress appear longer. And in a few quick seconds, I was able to extend her dress that much and I think that looks fantastic. I'm going to zoom out one more time with a command or control minus. So there is the before and after. This is a really quick way to alter clothing inside of Photoshop. I have also used this on hair to fill in gaps or to make it look fuller using layer masking. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.